Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Latoya and for today's video, I will be doing a review on the skincare line, The Ordinary. The first item I'm going to talk about is the Glyconic Acid. It's 7% toning solution. Um, I would say that that solution was not for me and the reason why is that the purpose of me purchasing the product was because I had, tech at the time, I had texture in my chin, like in this area. And... I bought it because I wanted it I wanted to get rid of that texture that I had at the time and not and I did not realize that the reason that I was having the texture was because of another product that I was using which was a uh, um, facial cleanser the facial cleanser that I was using I'm looking over at it now so I can remember it was the Tasha deep cleansing <laughs> the, the Tasha deep cleansing cleanser and this is like a face wash and it's like right here. And this was maybe like the third bottle that I had gone through because it works very well with cleaning your face. Like when you use it, you clean your face and your face look like squeaky clean spotless. But for some reason there's an ingredient in there that actually I have, I would say an allergic reaction because not only did I have texture in my chin area, my face would itch. So once I realized what was causing the texture, I eliminated from that from my skincare routine and my skin went back to normal. So at that point, I realized that I really didn't need the glyconic acid 7%. So I really can't give you a full review on that item. However, I do know that there's other people that have reviewed that um, toner along with another product. Like they use it in combined with another product that works very well together. So if you want to just look that up and see how that will work or how it worked for them, yeah. Um, I would say do that because honestly, I can't really review that one because I didn't need it. <laughs> so the next item I'm going to tell you about is the Hyaluronic Acid 2% plus B5. Now, the purpose of that serum is for dryness. It's a, hy it's a hydrating formula that basically like plump, I wouldn't say it plumps up your skin, but it adds extra hydration to your skin. And I have a skin type that is, is normal but it's closer to the drier side. And the reason why I say it's close to the drier side because in the winter, everybody get dry because it's cold. So for me, that's what I need it for. Uh, with the hyaluronic acid, I actually purchased that along, it was like a three piece set. I purchased that along with the um, retinol 2% and also with the um, natural moisturizing factor. I would say with all three of those together, it works very well. I like the serum because it was um, moisturizing. So regardless of what other items that I added it with, like if I put it with a different moisturizer, it still hydrated my skin. But I will say that um, if you're looking for the extra moisture, I feel like it's best for you to get the kit with all three pieces because I feel like they all work very well together. The retinol, I would say... I have about this much left in it. You really can't see because it it's like a dark bottle. But I have like this much left in it. Um, using it by itself, I really, I don't really think that I used it by itself. However, I do feel like for the percentage of retinoid that's, that you get for the price, you cannot beat it. Because any other brand, you will get less and you paying like a large amount of money for it. As for the natural moisturizing factor, that one, I know I still have it somewhere, but it's like really, really low, like to the point where I'm like rolling the tube down just to get anything out of it. And I would say there's pros and cons to the moisturizer. I would say during the winter, the moisturizer doesn't hold up well enough for me because like I said, I have natural skin, but during the winter I get drier and I did notice that it really wasn't doing what it needed to do during the winter time. However, I feel like during the other seasons, like for spring, fall, summer, or at least when it's warmer in spring and fall, because here in Jersey, sometimes it'd be spring and fall and it's cold as bricks <laughs> outside. But when it's like in the warmer times of the year I feel like it's a great moisturizer along with the hyaluronic acid it works very well and then not only that if you wear makeup it works very well underneath your makeup so as for me the moisturizer is good however I would have to switch out and use something else during the winter so the next item we're going to talk about is buff it I stand corrected I was wrong just a second ago I told you that it was the hyaluronic acid 
retinoid and the moisturizer that was in a set together is actually Buffett, the natural moisturizer and the retinoid that's together. And pretty much all the three set is supposed to help combat the signs of aging. Now, um, and that's pretty much what Buffett is for. I don't know how well it will work if you already have like age signs like wrinkles or you know crow's feet or lines like that. Now don't get me wrong, I'm not like a spring chicken or anything. <laughs> However, um, I believe I do look pretty well for my age. But like they say, they always say that it's always better to try to come back the signs of aging before you get there. So like if you on the younger side and you don't have the wrinkles, maybe it will be your best bet to use this set, especially since the ordinary is not really expensive at all. I feel like that is very affordable. So I feel like Buffett is a plus. I like Buffett, but obviously I used it up. But honestly, I didn't really start using Buffett until my hyaluronic acid ran out and then I just kind of started using Buffett in its in this replace. The next item I'm going to talk to you guys about is this one here. This is actually the last skincare item out of the set. It's the Caffeine Solution 5% plus EGCG. And I would say I've gotten it down to like here, right where you see that like gray line, that's where I'm at. And this is pretty much for to reduce the appearance of eye contour pigmentation and of puffiness. Now, as for the caffeine solution, I do not use this every day. That's probably the reason why I still have some left. The only time I really use it is like if for some reason I was out all night the night before or I have allergies or for some reason I wake up and my eyes look puffy down below, like right here. I got bags. <laughs> if I have some bags, then, you know, I kind of take a couple of drops of these. But, ooh. Like if I have bags, then I take a couple drops of the caffeine solution with my ring finger and just kind of dot it in and just kind of like pat it in. And then I just go ahead with the rest of my skincare routine. So as for this one, I only use it as needed. I feel like it do work for what it is. All right, so the final item that is in this review is actually the Ordinary, of course the Ordinary, the Coverage Foundation, High Coverage Foundation Formula which is this. I purchased two of them um, in two different colors. One of them is 2.0 YG, which is light medium yellow undertone with gold highlight. And then the second one I got is a 2.0 N, I mean N, which is a light medium neutral. I would say the pros to it is that it's very nice, like a little bit goes a long way and it is full coverage. I do like the way that it sits on my skin especially you know i feel like if you if a skincare brand comes out with a foundation the foundation better be bomb okay i better look like like my skin but better and i feel like that what it kind of do like it gives you that my skin but better however i would say the con about it is the color selection i'm gonna post a picture right in the corner showing you like the color selection and honestly it's only like 21 colors and like the the range between the colors is so like broad that it's just there's a lot missing that's what I could really say it's like it's a lot of color colors that's missing and even with me using these two different colors like one of them is like too yellow the other one is not right I mix them together and I can't kind of get like my right color and even like after applying like the my highlighter and you know if I do like the color correcting under my eyes or if I do like the contour I can kind of adjust the foundation to kind of match me a little bit better however it's like who really want to do that every single time when you can actually get a foundation that matches your skin so that's the only con that I would say about it is because the foundation is beautiful however they may not have your color that's pretty much it like that's the sad part of it is that they may not have it that's pretty much like my review on the ordinary would i purchase from the ordinary again yes most definitely the only two items that i would probably pass on is the um toning solution because i don't need it for like texture issues because i already figured out what's going on foundation i would be interested in purchasing purchasing this in the future if they were brought in the color range however since they are a skincare line they're probably not really interested in doing that like even to the point where other sites where you can actually purchase the ordinary skincare line like sephora they sell everything from the skincare on sephora however 
you can't purchase the foundation anywhere except from their website and even then most of the time it's sold out so yeah that's pretty much it everything else is really nice they have a huge selection of skincare products so i would say like go on their website research read it and see if those things will fit or suit you and go from there but um as for the price the price of it is really good and you can't go wrong especially during trial and error seeing if you like it seeing if you don't because if you don't it's not like you really spend a lot of money so that's the end of my video if you like this video give it a thumbs up especially if you want to see me do more reviews if you haven't already please subscribe to my channel and make sure you hit the notification bell so that you'll be able to see all my new videos that i upload like this one <laughs> thank you guys for watching and remember you are made for more Bye.